Hello everyone. <coughs> Today we are going to see about one of the important technologies that is being used across organizations who are doing data load. It is nothing but SSIS. Before directly jumping into the technology, I would just like to give a short intro about business intelligence. Uh, when you are having some data in your hand and you want to take some action or uh, you want to take some decision out of the data, you need some tools to help you analyze and report it in a, a better way so that everybody can understand. Uh, just having raw data would not help you to take any decision. Business intelligence tools help you to analyze and uh, report in a manner which is easily understandable by people to take managerial decisions. For example, if you have data about employees absence history, you can use business intelligence tools to do some analysis and report in uh, such a way that management will be able to take uh, some amendments or change some process and techniques to reduce the absence list of employees. Okay, coming back to our topic, Microsoft has got its own business intelligence tools to perform analysis and operations uh, for taking uh, managerial decisions. So it is termed as MSBA, Microsoft Business Intelligence. MSBA is a stack of three different components, which is nothing but SSIS, SSAS, SSRS. SSIS is a data load technology. SSAS is uh, after you load data using SSIS, SSAS helps you to analyze the data and using SSRS you can report um, based on the analysis that you have done. So these three components are linked together SSIS, SSRS and SSAS. And does that mean that you have to use all the three technologies every time? No, it is uh, all the three are related but they need not be used together always. It's up to the organization's wish to go for uh, the entire stack or just to, to use SSIS for data load part. Fine. So, we will quickly uh, touch upon the basics of SSIS technology in this video. We are not going to touch upon SSRS or SSIS here, just SSIS technology. What is SSIS? As I told you, it is a data load technology. Data load is the primitive step that is done in any organization, any type of organization. Um, before they can uh, work on the data that they are having in their hand. Uh, does that mean um, SSIS just loads data from some object to some other object? No. SSIS is capable of doing even more. It is an ETL technology. ETL is nothing but extraction, transformation and loading. SSIS would let you talk to various types of data sources uh, for getting the data and it will be able to apply some transformation to the extracted data before loading it into the destination. So basically it extracts from source, it applies some transformation to the extracted data and it loads to the destination object. Does that mean it can only talk to one single source for extracting data? No. Uh, normally in real time you will have to um, connect to various type of data sources. For example, files, databases, web services, etc. You will need to collect data from various types of data sources and you will have to perform some operations onto the data extracted before loading it into the destination object. So SSES will be able to talk to multiple sources, apply transformations and load it to the destination object. Destination can be anything. It can be file, it can be uh, a table or it can be a cube which is developed using SSES or anything. So SSIS um, supports heterogeneous data sources and destinations. Fine. Um, we can expand SSIS as SQL Java integration services. So why do we go for SSIS when there are other technologies, uh, other tools like Informatica is available. SSIS is very simple to learn. Uh, you can um, spend just couple of uh, days to learn the technology and um, end of a uh, couple of days you will be able to develop a complete uh, package in SSIS files are termed as packages uh, you will be able to uh, learn SSIS quickly and apply the concepts you learn to develop a complete SSIS package in a couple of days so it is very easy to learn using um, user friendly GUI and it makes your development simpler because it has got its own tools that we can drag and drop to develop complete package. You need not uh, write everything from the scratch. It has got different kinds of uh, tools to make your job simpler. You'll just have to drag and drop 
make some uh, uh, setting it will be just like configuring the task you need not write complete code just a drag and drop uh, change some properties make the package work so it will be very simpler to use and as, as we already see uh, as we already saw in the uh, second slide it works almost with any type of source and destination mm, even it will be able to talk to web services it has got different providers to talk to different types of sources and destinations fine so uh, why do we call it a sql server integration services and not just integration services because it comes as part of sql server installation when you're going to install sql server 2008 or 2008 r2 you can select uh, ssis as a feature uh, in a sql server installation um, see ssis doesn't come uh, alone as i as we already saw uh, it comes along with ssrs and ssis collectively termed as bits when you are installing sql server you can select bits as an option to install which will let you use ssis rs as all the three so in 2008 r2 or 2008 it is called um, bits business intelligence development studio but when you are installing SQL Server 2012, BITS is renamed to SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools. And in recent versions, uh, SSDT is again renamed to SQL Server Data Tools for BA. So the name is different, um, but the components are all same. SSIS, RS and AS come along with the installation of uh, BITS or SSDT. Fine. Where to download the complete uh, setup you the best place to download uh, any microsoft product is the microsoft site itself there you find links for downloading um, bits or sstt as part of sql server installations that's all for uh, today's session we just learned the basics of ssis technology which is mainly used for uh, uh, etl purposes and we also saw the benefits of using um, ssis in the next session, I will take you through the environment, uh, the um, SSDT environment for actually developing the packages along with the details of each and every section present in the framework. Thanks for watching this video. Keep supporting.